Hi guys, I'm Jen, and today I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. So to do this look, you're gonna need a couple of things. First is a curling wand. I prefer to use a wand over your traditional curler um, because it's tapered and um, you don't have like the clip getting in the way. And I also like to leave the bottom piece of the hair out. So this allows you to do that easily. Um, so this one is from T3. It's actually from their convertible collection. So um, you get the base and then this part, you can actually like switch it out. I can show you after it's hot right now. <laughs> So that way you can do like all different types of looks with that one. Um, next thing you need is like a little clip and a hairbrush. This one is from Tangle Teaser and some hairspray. Uh, my favorite is Tresemme. It works really well and it's inexpensive. So let's do it. So I like to start from a center part so that both sides are even. And I usually do one side at a time cause it's just easiest that way. So. I tie one half so that it doesn't get messed up. And then what you want to do is start from the bottom and the back. So you just take a little section here and then I'll just clip this all out of the way just like that. So this is also like a really cute look for selfies. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the piece at the very back and you wanna comb it out before you curl it so that it doesn't have any like messy tangles. And then you're gonna curl away from your face like this. Depending on your hair, um, you hold it for a few seconds. You never really want to do it longer than 10 seconds because you don't want to damage your hair. So I'll just comb it with my fingers like that and go away from the face. So you see how I'm just leaving the end out like about an inch, an inch and a half? And that'll give you that kind of like beachy wave look. For the little short pieces in the bottom, if you have a shorter cut like me, um, you can just sort of wind it around like half a time like that, or else it gets like a little bit crazy looking down there. So I usually recommend doing this look um, on day two or day three hair. So two or three days after a wash. Uh, my hair was just washed today. I was at the salon, so it's probably not gonna hold as well, but it'll look nice and fresh anyways. So I do a couple pieces like that, and then I hairspray all of them. It's a little bit faster that way. So now I'll take this back piece here, comb it out, and curl away, leaving an inch. Can you see there? <laughs> Depending on how thick your hair is, um, you'll want to take smaller sections at a time so that it curls more easily. Again, if your hair is dirtier, um, it tends to curl better so you can probably get away with like a larger chunk if your hair has some grease in it already and you can kind of just like pull through with your fingers so they're not like super tight ringlets make sure it's nice and smooth And the tapered wand really gives you that nice tousled look. So 
So make sure you use the length of the wand in order to get that nice beachy wave look. So when I start getting closer to the top and the front of my hair, um, I try to use a little bit smaller pieces just so that the curls are a little bit more polished. And you can always comb through it a little bit later to make sure it's not too tight. So I have a bit of a layer at the front here. Um, so I'll do that part separately so that it doesn't get curled at the bottom. You want to be careful with different layers because uh, you might be holding the longest piece out, but a shorter piece might get trapped in there a little bit. And for the front piece, what I really do is just curl around once like that so that it's like just a little slight wave. So just do a light spray and there's the first side. Okay, so now we'll do the next side. So there you have it and I like to just comb through with my fingers to give it that kind of relaxed look. do is like flip it upside down give it a little hairspray and then shake it out again there you go so that was my first tutorial video guys um, I'm a little new at this so if there are any points that I missed please let me know um, if you have any questions about the t3 curling wand um, let me know in the comments and um, anything else that you want to see. Okay, thanks for watching.